Hi, it's Yunus, and in this lesson we're gonna cover void functions. In C++, like in many other programming languages, we use this thing called functions. There are many types of functions. In this one we're gonna cover a function called void. So what is function? Let's say you want to perform some kind of operation using coding, and that operation it might be repetitive. So in your main function, you have an option. You can copy that code again and again, or you can you can create a function that perform that mathematical operation and just copy the name of the function instead of writing the code all over again. Let's create a function. To do that, the first thing that we do, we create a function prototype and our function is a void function so we have to type void and we have to give some kind of name to our function usually we name function if we if it performs certain operation we name it like that like if it's as we can call addition subtraction or something like that in our we'll just name it prints we're gonna print some message in it so let's say print and since we're not passing any value into our function we have to create a parentheses and leave it empty. So we, this is going to be our function prototype. The next thing you do, you go down here. You have to type void print again with empty parentheses. Go to the next line and open curly brackets. So everything in between those curly brackets is going to be part of the print function. In our print function, let's display a hello world message. Hello world. So let me explain what void means. Void means this function is gonna compile. We'll call this function in our main. It's gonna compile it. The program is gonna compile but this function is not going to return any value into our main function so it's going to compile everything that is inside itself and it's going to go back to main and it will not it won't give any value to main function so we got our function prototype and we got the function itself and if we build and run this at this moment nothing's going to happen because to use the function we have to call it in our main function to call the function you have to type the name of the function and in our case it's print and with empty parentheses so now if we run this program it's going to print this message hello world perfect so now let's let's change our function a little bit what we're gonna do, let's create two variables. So let's create integer rate. And in this variable, we're gonna store our pay rate. Let's say each hour we earn $16. We'll say equals 16. And we'll create a double or integer uh, hours. And let's say in one week, I worked 32 hours so what we're gonna do we're gonna send these two variables into our function and it's gonna perform mathematical operations to do that as you see we have two integers and we have to pass those two integers to do that inside of the empty parentheses you have to write the type of the variable that you're passing the first one is integer rate so we'll say int and we have to give it some name it doesn't have to be the same so let's say this one's gonna be integer r and the second variable that we're passing is integer hours we'll call it int h and now we'll change it here as well and instead of displaying this message, we're gonna do, we're gonna display how many dollars we earned. Let's say rate. Um, let's add the dollar sign as well. 
So here's the thing. As you know, our variables are rate and hours. But when we're passing these two variables into our function, rate becomes R and hours becomes H. So instead of multiplying rate times hours, we're going to multiply R times H. And to call to call the function from our main, we have to write the name of the function. And inside of the parentheses, we have to send the variables that we want to use. In our case, it's going to be rate. So this rate variable is going to be assigned to uh, integer r. And hours is going to be the second one. If we build and run this, let's see what will happen. All right. So as you can see, if you work 32 hours and if your pay rate is $16, you earn $512. Um, so in this lesson, we covered the void function. In the coming up lessons, we're going to cover the functions that have a return that means it's going to perform some kind of mathematical operation and it's going to return some value into our main function. But for now, thank you for watching.